Hi Scorpio, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-April general reading. This is for a Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Scorpio, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Scorpio, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Scorpio, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins that pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Scorpio, let's get right into it. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you always so much for your support. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Scorpio? Again, this is your mid-April general reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Got one more. Yeah. Okay. All right, my loves. Ooh, we got a decision to make. So we have the two of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But for you, Scorpio, two of swords is like, man, I, I know I need to, to make a choice. I need to make a decision. But with the two of swords, you see the blind blindfold there. Uh, there's a blindfold over her eyes. Uh, here, you know, you could be he or she. Um, but this is like, I don't have all the information yet. I, I'm not quite sure. I don't have all the data. I don't, I don't know all the missing pieces here. Um, so it's like, I can't make a decision just yet. Three of swords. Some of you, um, it was like a painful decision. Or some of you are sitting with the three of swords and what do I do about it? Scorpio, what's the current sitch? What's your current situation here? Okay, five of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, regardless, you feel, this is you feeling not a part of this king of pentacles. A partnership, a mother or father figure. More, It's just the masculine with the king of pentacles. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This feels also like... Um, yeah, like some of you are missing mom and dad or you're missing a partnership. Um, it almost feels like this could be your 10 of pentacles. <clears throat> you're missing someone. What's crossing Scorpio? Yeah, five, of, five and five. Lots of fives, lots of changes going on. Um, What's crossing you here is the five of swords, a conflict, okay, where you might have walked away, someone might have walked away, or there's just a little bit of like a cold shoulder, silent treatment vibe right now. Yeah, you're missing somebody. What's crossing you? Two of cups. It's about you and someone else. You and a friend not getting along right now. You and someone in a relationship not getting along right now. Five of swords. We're not, there's not great communication. There's kind of argument energy, okay? But the five of pentacles is saying that y'all uh, y'all are probably separated or without each other to some degree. But that's telling me that neither one of you like that. What is your focus here? <gasps> Tower. Major changes. But this is about you. This is what you're focused on. <gasps> the sun card. You like you know you have to make some changes to get to this happiness. Your sun card. Because it's like dark card, dark card, dark card, bright card. It's like you've kind of, you're in the energy of coming out of a dark night of the soul. And you're about to like, like explode here, like in a good way. Like I feel like you're going to make some really huge changes in your life. Yeah, look at that. Okay, recent past. Look what came right back out. That two of swords, which we talked about, which was your theme. And the fool card. There was a leap of faith in the past. Empress. With a mother, for some of you, mother or father, or a divine feminine. So in the past, you've still been needing to make this choice. Make this decision. Full card. Um, sun card. Oh... 
ooh, king of cups. For some of you, you're not really sure about a relationship with somebody. You're like, should I pick it back up? Whatever. And what the full card is actually representing where either you or someone else in this connection took a leap of faith to move away from this connection. And I feel like you're kind of been left asking yourself why. Also, I'm picking up that someone wanted you to jump in like, hey, Scorpio, let's leave the past in the past. Let's talk it out. Let's be friends. Let's whatever. And you're just like, I don't know. We'll break this all down in the, when we get to the clarifiers. But they're definitely, the, the decision has still been sitting with you in the recent past. Yeah. What's crowning Scorpio here? A victory. So six of wands and two of wands. So this is about leaving where you're at now and moving, moving forward, relocating for some of you. I'm hearing address. Not like address something, maybe, but like a physical address for some of you. In your mind, you're like, I just... King of Cups. The victory is with whatever your heart is. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. It's you. What's in the near future for you? One of my favorite gods. The Six of Cups. This is a past connection. It's also a soulmate connection. Soulmates are even like parent-child. That's a soulmate connection, okay? Three of Pentacles, though. In the near future, Three of Pentacles with your Six of Cups. It looks like you and someone of your past that you love them. They love you very much. Heavy water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with another water sign here in the future. It feels like Three of Pentacles. Let's put our pieces back together. Let's build something great. Let's do something great. You and someone of your past are going to start building your legacy, okay? Either in a career, in a creative setting. Creative career setting. Yeah, all of those words came literally together, okay? And or, of course, Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups is like in your family, in your, in your love, like in your, in your love life, right? Wanting to rebuild something, okay? Let me see Scorpio here. What is your position on this? You're all in. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about union, twin flame, commitment, um, and really just hearing divine partnership. Divine partnership, okay? King of Pentacles, Chariot, Knight of Wands. This King of Pentacles was out earlier. Oh, with your Five of Pentacles. So this is either representing the person that you see a healthy, I'm hearing the word longevity, that you're going to have a long longevity with in the home or in career. It feels really like a, with the Six of Cups more um, emotional. <clears throat> What's hidden from you? What's hidden from Scorpio? Oh, Five of Cups, another five. Someone going through changes, someone going through an emotional loss, someone crying and missing you, being really sad that the connection is lost. The Five of Cups, there's always potential for it to come back together um, with, once this person turns around and kind of picks themselves up. What are your hopes and fears? Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Could be about money for some of you. Some of you are like, I don't know. Um, you know, maybe you don't feel like you're insecure if you don't make enough money than, as them or vice versa. Maybe your person is sad. They don't make enough as an, or you're di been disappointed. You're like, well, I hope they make more money, something like that. But Two of Cups, this is definitely a hope card. Sure, it could be a fear card. You could be fearing love or this connection, okay? But Page of Pentacles is sweet. It's kind of just like, let's just take it one day at a time. And I feel like that's in as a hope and a fear because I feel like you want to rush and come together and like fix this. But also it's like, this feels like a very, with the Three of Pentacles, 
that showed up earlier on your six of cups it is a very delicate situation and it will take one day at a time do you know what i mean so i feel like that's pretty spot on there let's look at your outcome and then let's break it down what's the outcome here for scorpio please Okay, we have the hangman, so a change of perspective here, and then we have the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands, and the three of pentacles, and the eight of wands. So here's two queens here, and the three of pentacles, so you could be working together with these two people, these two queens, these two feminines, um, one that's more kind of stable, nurturing, and one that's just very fiery, sexy, that kind of energy. I feel like this is like a collaboration, like you really want to eight of wands yeah judgment open up lines of communication seven of swords where there's been some deception on this situation there's been some deception some lies on your part on their part it doesn't matter in the past and it's like let's let's rise above eight of wands is like, let's reach out let's communicate it's very social media energy as well um and three of pentacles with two queens here so i feel like there's a, a strong chance for you to um want to build up a life and a legacy with some cool new partners here okay um or working something out with someone from your past but the hangman here strong water energy pisces cancer scorpio energy again um this is about again seeing something in a different light i've already pre-shuffled and cut this deck bottom of the deck we've got queen of cups you and your feminine my relationship queen King of Pentacles, or Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Tower, told you, Tower, Tower's big here. It's also one of your cards. You are the Death card and the Tower in the Tarot. Both very transformative, huge energies, right? Like, your energy is no joke. Like, Scorpio energy is one of my favorite. It's very intense, but it's because Scorpio energy is like, very all or nothing, right? Like, when you walk in a room and you're in your, in your confidence, you know, the way that you are, the way you exude your energy, the way you present yourself intimidates other people because they're not in their confidence, right? Like you make people like turn the other way and look the other way with just naturally who you are and the abilities you have, okay? So there's some intense scorpionic shifts and changes coming up in your reading, okay? All right, let's go back to the beginning. You're five of pentacles right now. You're in an energy of, I don't have it. I don't have them. I don't have that thing that I know I deserve. Pentacles is about, you know, you deserve this. Seems like you and someone are also in separation. And this is general. So that could be in love, a friend, a family member, whatever. Lots of stress. Nine of Swords came out. Okay. Like, I'm picking up the anxiety now. I'm, like, literally getting nervous for some reason. <clears throat> What's this Five of Pentacles for you, Scorpio? Let's look at it deeper. Okay, Moon card. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer. You could be separated from a Pisces or Cancer specifically. Wheel of Fortune. There was a fated event there. Um, you're, regardless of if you're separated from a Pisces or Cancer, you're in your feels, the moon card. You are, you are feeling the absence of someone's presence or someone's feeling the absence of your presence. Um, like, but to the core when we have the moon card, like you feel it all. Like you, like the feels of the ocean, like you feel it like real deep. You're a water sign, you know. What's this Five of Pentacles for Scorpio, please? Shut up. No way. What? The Sun card came out. I don't know what the other one is yet. And you also have the Ace of Cups with this. On your Five of Pentacles, I'm telling you. Now we have the Sun and the Moon. What? 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 Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be a specific person, but we have the sun card. You have the sun and the moon. 
This is a twin flame. This is a, a soulmate connection. This is wow. This is yin yang yin yang energy. This is the sun and the moon, the the father, the mother, the the light, the dark, the oh my god. This is your divine counterpart. Ace of Cups that you love them, they love you. This Queen of Wands is in the middle and this 3 of Pentacles for some of you. There could be a third party-ish situation going on here. I'm a thousand percent gonna get one more card on this. Y'all got the sun and the moon card on your five of pentacles. Yeah, you're missing your divine counterpart. You're missing, I don't wanna say, I hate when people are like, they complete me. No, 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 you complete you, I complete me, we all complete each other, but this is like, Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I'm speechless. What is this? Why is the sun and the moon on this? Because that is your truth. Look what came out. You can't not see it. Two of swords. In this deck, the blinders are off. Remember what we talked about at the beginning? The blinders are on in the past. Where like you couldn't see something clearly. Well, now you can see it clearly. I'm going to... They are like, put the ace back. Okay. I'm literally like, this is the, one of the biggest energies like I have felt in a long time. Like it is like, I feel like literally the sun and the moon are right here in this freaking reading right now. Woo. Oh my God. One more on this. What was it? The truth, the ace of swords. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I think that gives you also Queen of Pentacles of, or Queen of Wands. If there's like no third party for you, the Queen of Wands is you like knowing that truth, the duality of the situation and being like, yup, I just know it. And now I have my confidence back. There's something about that truth that just is like, boom, like gives you like mad confidence. Oh my God. I'm like shaking. Like this is crazy. Like in a good way, just because it's like really big energy. I mean, we're talking about the sun and the moon together in your reading, like right off the bat. <laughs> Why is the five of swords crossing this? It's that conflict energy. Someone might have walked away. Yeah, shit. Okay, so there was an impulsive decision or impulsive move in the past. Nine of swords, there has been a lot of stress about this, about the future of what's going to happen here. Um, we have, I'm sorry, the world card where a cycle was closed and, but now the wheel of fortune. So there has been some kind of karmic completion here. And as one door closes, another door opens. So I do feel like, like I said, you're not connected to the other part of this duality. Either you're the sun and you're missing your moon or you're the moon missing your sun. Do you understand? So there has been a cycle closed. I'm feeling very strong twin flame type energy and y'all have met and it's you're in separation now, but now Wheel of Fortune, this is about things taking a turn because what, again, this is about a, a karmic cycle complete now. So either you've completed some karmic energy and or so have they. Why are you the tower? This is like taking my breath away. Ten of Wands came out, Five of Pentacles. You're like, I can't, I can't. You're like, you're literally getting like sick for some of you or like feeling, I don't know. Like you're starting to like, I'm hearing the words weaken. Okay, why are you the tower here? Why is this your focus? Okay, Ten of Wands, Prince of Swords came out, so the Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Woo! That is a lot of heavy energy, yo. But what are you doing? What are you doing, though? What are you doing? You're committing. Emperor. Oh, you're you're rising up. So you're definitely going through an awakening right now. Um 
there's a lot of pain, three of swords, a loss, a heartbreak, eight of swords between you and someone that y'all think about it all the time. Eight of swords in this deck, it's like y'all are both running circles about it. I go, but what are you doing? You're Hierophant Emperor. You're rising above all of this energy, this heartbreak, this pain, this loss. What's this Prince of Swords? What's the message? The High Priestess, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. This is still you weighing your options about what you're going to do. For some of you, I think to your surprise, Strength card. That is a strong fire energy here. Leo energy, Queen of Wands. There's a Leo or a fire sign that is, I hate to say this, but potentially if you're in a connection with this person, they're going to tower you. They're going to... What's with that? Eight of Wands, Five of Cups hangman yeah there's for some of you there's a communication coming in that i think is going to make you this is a lot 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 what is a tower here anything else you're absolutely hold on Sorry, I was still going. Um, I have to fix my camera. You're absolutely focused on a new beginning here. There's like almost a double ending. So you could have a new beginning. What's in the recent past? This full card, two of swords for Scorpio. Six, six, temperance. Six of swords, six of pentacles, temperance. There was a lot of healing here. Someone did move on. Queen of swords. Yeah, for a lot of you in this deck, that tells me there was a third party. Um, someone wanted to be all in with you and you didn't want that or vice versa. You want to be in with all in with someone and someone made you an option. Why is the six of wands uh, your victory? Seven of wands. I'm hearing that. What is that? Aria Speedwagon. Aria Speedwagon. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Is that the right band? Right song? That's so random. That came through. What's this? Six of Wands for Scorpio. Eight of Wands. This is about communication. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wants to rebuild this with you. You want to rebuild with them. Page of Pentacles. It feels like there is an offer coming in. Yeah, for a reunion here. Why is the seven of wands? You've manifested this, but you're also kind of resistant towards it as well. It's like you've asked for it. And when it comes in, you're a little suspicious. But in your mind, you feel open to communication and wanting to three of pentacles build or rebuild in this situation. Why in the near future are you the six of cups? Seven of Cups, you were confused, and now a Chariot, someone's on the way. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords, full card. One more. What's the Six of Cups for Scorpio, please? Nine of Pentacles, and we have the High Priestess. I feel, again, like you are... You're, confu you're definitely emotionally confused about a connection of your past, it looks like you're still going with no communication here. Nine of Pentacles, you're focusing on yourself, your independence, your material abundance. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Oh, I was wrong. Queen of Swords is a conversation with the Queen with the Knight of Cups. That's a romantic, uh, emotionally available, emotionally vulnerable conversation. Star card. This is meant to be. I'm like. Literally, my leg is shaking for you guys. Like, I don't know what's going on. Page of Swords. Like, someone is going to strike up a conversation so that y'all can come together and work things out. I feel, though, emotionally, 
you're still wanting to stay independent, but like you're curious about this connection. Oh my God. Why are you the four of wands? This is your power here. It's a twin flame card also. Seven of pentacles. Why is your position the four of wands here? judgment so you've been making some plans to rise up y'all <laughs> five of wands empress star card six of wands hermit um this is a decision of, of like you know what i'm tired of waiting around i'm just gonna make a decision i might cause some waves but i'm gonna go get my dreams so your dream here is this person yeah, y'all might be, um, y'all might fight like cats and dogs because y'all are literally the same, but, but opposite. One's the sun, one's the moon. Okay. I mean, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. And now we're seeing the Empress. So now this is also a divine counterpart. This is written in the stars. It's meant to be a, a star card energy here. Aquarius vibes. Why is the five of cups hiding from you? It's your six of cups. It's the person from the past. They, they're crying. They're sad. They miss you. Um, and they're laid out flat. They're just like, I don't know what else to do. I've done everything I could um, is what I'm hearing from them. Lovers. This is a divinely guided person to you. Another sign for twin flame. Oh my God. And the four of wands again. This is a strong twin flame. Or if you're not on your twin flame journey, divine counterpart. I don't know how else to say it. Page of Pentacles. Why is this your hopes and fears? Knight of Wands, High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. You're hoping that um, someone takes the bull by the horns and stops the silent treatment with the High Priestess. That's a non-communication card for me. You're hoping that this taking it one day at a time really does work because knight of wands both of y'all want to move fast yeah the <clears throat> both of y'all want to move fast page of wands king of pentacles why is the hangman your outcome here this is seeing things in a different lens different light there that's why i had to put the ace of swords back your truth is back out about your sun moon energy oh my god page of pentacles four of swords yeah you have the ace of wands the three of cups and the emperor so like i told you this is your divine masculine to your divine feminine this is a two, a three of cups in this deck is not a third party. It's a reunion between two people. Okay. And then we have a, a brand new beginning here that four of swords, page of pentacles. Um, you know, you know, your truth about this. You do want to take it slow, but also not at the same time. Um, four of swords, both of you and this person seem at peace. Hermit. Yeah. One person's very much kind of pulled away at this time. But yeah, it looks like there's a very hot new beginning here, reunion energy with your divine masculine. And this is, and you're showing up as divine feminine and it can be vice versa here. You've got the sun and the moon and the, the emperor and the empress, major star card energy and the lovers, double six of cups. This is like definitely divinely guided for you and this person to um, page of pentacles, to learn your lessons. Cause I feel like if there's a twin flame, y'all have already met and like separated. And you, that, that's a part of the lesson is to separate. And now y'all want to come back together and be like, well, I learned this and I learned this and da, 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 da. Feels good. All right, you guys, that's your reading. Um, let's do your pick a card and then I will do your love reading. And the person that won the pick a card this time is Jeanette Diaz. Jeanette, you are my winner. So Scorpio, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. And next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much and I'll see you next time. Jeanette, how are you? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. 
you definitely are about to do something brave out of your comfort zone. Ah! Oh my God, I can't take all of that, but that was beautiful. Jeanette Diaz, what do we got going on here for Jeanette, Scorpio energy? If you're starting with the Three of Swords, I do see you're in pain, but you've been focusing on yourself and healing yourself. My battery is about to die. I am trying to swiftly get through this. Yeah, we're about to, about to die here. You have the Seven of Wands. There's something you're still defensive about in regards to your healing, um, but there is a new beginning, but you're not really sure about it, but it does have to do with your Ten of Pentacles. Um, your legacy, <laughs> who you would be, who would you, who you would live your forever with, um, that kind of energy or who you want to build. Yeah. Build your legacy with, um, three of swords. Why are you in pain? Six of cups. This is about a breakup from the past, a soulmate connection that you are missing very badly. Yeah. Knight of cups. There's a lot of love between the two of you. Why are you the nine of cups? So you have the king of pentacles and the emperor. I feel like things are going really well for you in career and you might be your own boss. Yeah. And so you're very, you're able to get what you want right now because you're at a very secure foundation. You're healing your divine feminine energy. And as you, and as you heal, um, there is a love offer coming in page of cups. And I think that's what you're defensive about. Yeah, because this is the Hierophant. This is a high-level commitment that someone wants from you after a time of stagnation. After a time of stagnation or missing each other. What's this Ace of Wands for you? There's your, there's your Knight of Wands. This is either you, someone, you or, or someone else, like, breaking out of your normal routine. Five of Pentacles because you're sick of missing each other what high priestess and the four of wands yeah this is a my god here this is your twin flame six of wands nine of wands yeah this is like i don't know should i take them back i miss them terribly what is it about them i don't know high priestess four of wands you're literally the same like you have the same burning flame like you're the same and the opposite all at the same time i don't even have words for it this is amazing <laughs> That's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.